As the government puts forward its midterm budget, it also remains optimistic about the future investment outlook for the country. Already, Grand Bahama is being viewed as the crossroads to the region, in particular with its modern shipping sector. Prime Minister Perry Christie, while on that island this week, lauded Grand Bahama's shipping industry, saying it places us in a unique position to benefit from other world shipping developments, like the expansion of the Panama Canal. Our deep water harbor, is the nearest port in this region closest to the United States that will be able to accommodate these new vessels. Here we have one of the largest man-made harbors in the world and one that is among the deepest in the region. This makes it an ideal port to engage in business of the kind of which I have spoken. <clears throat> Both the Freeport Container Port and the Grand Bahama International Airport are integral parts of facilitating international travel and the transshipment of cargo. The airport is a key component of long-term strategy to develop an integrated distribution hub and transshipment center. It has an 11,000-foot runway which, which handles the largest aircraft in service and is within reach of major international destinations. Like the Linden Pending International Airport in Nassau, it also features pre-clearance facilities, which affords us such a powerful competitive advantage. Meantime, the chairman of the Grand Bahama Port Authority, Ian Fair, says Grand Bahama is simply waiting to be explored, but the world has to know exactly what it offers. If you don't get out there and sell what you have to offer, um, the world doesn't know what you're offering. Uh, we've, we found recently in some of the trips that uh, people were not aware of some of the offerings that the Bahamas had to, and particularly Grand Bahama had to offer. People look at the Bahamas from a, 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 from a, from a two, two, a two prism um, view. One is, one is tourism and the other is financial services without realizing that Freeport is a, is a, is a fully diver diversified economy already and we need to get out and spread that word. We've got world-class operations here and I'll give you one example, the, the shipyard. I mean, we've had a global recession where almost every industry in the world and every country in the world got itself into deep trouble and had to retrench. The shipyard actually substantially increased its business during the recession. So we've got success stories here. We need to get out there and shout about them. Grand Bahama is also being viewed as a place of great expectation for the tourism industry. Prime Minister Christie says while much has been done to improve that island's tourism sector, the government and other in industry partners must seek additional ways to revive and expand Grand Bahama's tourism industry. However, the strong feels the tourism product in Grand Bahama must be branded and linkages must be established in key areas. There is an opportunity, for example, to have factories in Grand Bahama producing mattresses, pillows, bedding, and soft furnishings for cruise ships and hotels providing jobs for Grand Bahamians. Grand Bahama definitely has in petrochemicals, in, in pharmaceuticals, it has already developed a culture on a scale of manufacturing. These cruise ships we spend millions of dollars with. Direct funding in terms of monies we spend. Can we not, those who have the entrepreneurial desire, the promotional obligation, approach them with a view to joint venturing in factories to manufacture the bedding and other such materials that go and are used there? These are opportunities for us and opportunities that must be taken advantage of.